Hello everybody, it's Lisa, and I am here to do my September 2nd to the 8th Vertical Happy Planner spread, and I am going to be using these Tea Time, it's actually called Graceful Tea Time stickers. Now, I kind of feel like these are two separate sets, like they all came together. So these ones here are blues and reds, and they're kind of Christmassy. Like this one here, it's poinsettia. There's some berry leaves and stuff in there. And then the girls have some blue and some red. Like I could technically use these girls for fall also, but because they're kind of bluey and red, I feel like they go with that. So I'm not using those ones. I am going to use these ones here. Let's get the line up the girls. Now they aren't super big girls. They're tinier. I'm just gonna try and zoom in a bit here so you can see them a bit better. So this is called Graceful Tea Time and I got this from Soto Studios, this set. Now this was a Hmm, maybe two months ago that I had got them and you could order over $50 US and you got free shipping which included international shipping and of course I can't find enough tea time stickers so I ordered this set along with some books I do have a haul video that you can check out and I have a code, or not a code. What I have is a link. So if you could use my link, I would really appreciate it. I get, I believe, 5% or 10% back. And I'm using it as a credit to go towards a second order. So yeah, let's get started with these. I really don't know where I'm going to go with them. Okay, so this is what I pulled out of my Daydreamer accessory book. There are rose gold hearts, rose gold, it's all rose gold. So there are more rose gold hearts. There are more little teacups. There's more of these kind of peachy uh, salmon, salmon colored. Uh, get it girl, a heart. Look at the little happy plans planner. Sipping, loving, you got this. So many teas, so little time. Messy bun and getting stuff done. So that works out really well because that's what I look like most of the time. <laughs> Actually, that's not completely true. That looks better than what I look like. Same with that. That looks better than what I look like <laughs> when I have a messy bun. So because these had rose gold, it reminded me of a scrapbook paper pad that I have, which is fall, and it has rose gold. So I found this piece and I thought, this goes well. To me, like it, it's kind of fancy tea time, like the teacups have the, the fancy little things on them. And yeah, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna take this, let's just move these out of the way. And I think what I'm gonna do is just put a full strip right through the middle. So I can't remember what the height and length is, 2.5, 2.5. Okay, so I need to find a bigger cutter. Okay, so I cut this one down to six inches and this one down to four and a half inches. So, glue, glue gun, not glue gun, tape. Tape, tape, tape. I know I call this glue sometimes. I think, does it say no? On one of my tape, rollers it said glue roller uh oh oh no i'm wrecking the place 
Okay, anyways, let's put this on. There, and I kind of feel like this does have an up and down. Yeah. See this way, these flowers here are going downwards and those acorns are going upwards. So it has to go this way. Oh, I just, I'm looking at this paper. Of course it is the blue color that I absolutely love and the orange with the blue as always gets me every time i adore it okay live love posh functionally chic orange blooms has some darker stickers which match perfectly okay i think what i'm gonna do is just put this one on here so Am I going to be able to get the backing off of these stickers? Yes, I can. Okay, so first things first. I got to turn it upside down. Sorry. Because I want to be able to get her. Actually, let's trim the white off. Okay. Is she straight? I think so. Okay, now here's the fun part. I want to come in with the box. Oh, her feet aren't straight. Can I peel this back up? Ooh, does not like being peeled back up. Okay, so I was getting my ons and offs mixed up on my my phone there when I was hitting the video button. I've done that before, but I know I had put the girl on. All I did was add in the box. If that is not on the video, I'm not sure if it is. I only have one more of the orange boxes, like the, the long box, but I pulled in Mojo, Mo, I always have a hard time saying this, Mojo Jojo Plans. Autumn Boxes 2.0 because there's the green and it will pull out the green in the leaves. So I'm going to try one of these. I really like how this looks right here. So I was kind of thinking like doing the same thing like this and then putting like in this case the tea bag or like one of these, maybe. I think I like where that is and it seems fairly straight. So let's put that on. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do this one. Oh, I don't have my, so I had stopped, right? Because I realized my camera wasn't recording and uh, I came back the next day and I don't have my glasses again. There's cat hair. I see cat hair. Even without my glasses, I see the cat hair. Okay, so just something like that. I really like how that looks. Okay, so then let's grab the green box since I have the green book out. And... I don't know that I want to go all the way. So if I go there, oh, now I need my orange box. Hold on. Okay. So if I go there and there, or there and there, or I can go in the middle. I think I kind of like the middle. So I am going to, this one needs to go on the bottom and I want to get it I need my little wax paper. I can't do it with one hand. <laughs> I kind of want to get it relatively the same height. 
I'm gonna go over a wee bit more though. Okay, and I think I have that straight. And we'll do the tea bag. These backings are coming off quite nicely. And I'm gonna go off to the side just so that you can tell that that is a box. Okay, and now this one. Not sure which girl I'll use there, but try and go relatively the same height. Is that gonna work? That will work for that one. That will work for that one. Okay, let's put it down. Oh, I just love how this is coming along. So exciting. Okay, so which girl? Now, do I want, oh, I can cut the white off the bottom of this. That'll make it even a little bit shorter. I think she needs to go up there. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this girl as of yet. Okay, so she is gonna go up here and I wanna get her hair bun. There we go. I wanted to make sure it wasn't touching Saturday, but I forgot. I cut the bottom off so it's shorter and blah, blah, blah. It all works. <laughs> yeah, I'm in one of those moods. Okay, so we'll put her in here. Because this seems to work. Even though I just finished saying that I wanted this to show the corner that you can tell that's a square box or rectangle box, whatever. That is a bit big to go with her. Um, just looking to see. Maybe, I don't even know if I can get this sticker back up actually. I may not have a choice. Uh, let's see. Because these aren't like out of a sticker book. Oh, it does come up. Nice. Okay. So let's just see if we like this better. Actually, I don't know that. Maybe I do something like throw one of these in. Like maybe the planner, put the planner and and like a heart. Just putting in a couple of these hearts. So let's cut this. Oh, I should not be doing this without my glasses. I still haven't made an eye appointment. I really need to do that. Just do something like that. Actually, I think I can even take this heart off. I think it looks pretty good without that. Yeah, that's cute. And then just wanna kind I kind of like it right here. Yeah, let's do that. We'll add a heart in with her. And then we'll add in one of these or two of these other hearts in with the other one. Actually, hold on. I think. If I cut this one off, I think these will fit in here nicely. Yes, they do. Okay. Oh, that's cute. I like that. And now I have the foil going. Yeah, I don't have any foil with that one. Let's see. I do have this little one here. Oh, in this corner maybe. Yeah, sure. 
Oh, I like it. Okay, so I do have these teacups. I'm wondering if I could put the teacup in here. I think so. I think I like that right there. So I don't use checklists mostly because I don't really need five things in one day. I'll, I'll have my games, which I usually put boxes in, like for pickleball and ringette. And I haven't been to my fit class because of the pinch nerve in my neck. But I, I think I may try to get back to my classes this week. I had hoped last week, but I didn't go. So I'm kind of thinking maybe I'd cut a couple of these and do a three or a two on a couple of days here. Like maybe do a three and a three. Let's try it. I mean, I can always take them off, right? Because that's what I do. And I want, let's see. I'm just looking at the spacing. So basically, the thing about the, the, I think this is called a protractor, is it has a line here and you can line things up to cut which I really like. Like I do have my gold metal ruler, but I can't see. It's good when I'm cutting long lines, obviously. Okay, so let's take these off. I was looking for bigger boxes, but I don't have any in here. The option is I could go with no, I was looking for square boxes. So I do have double boxes. I do not have square boxes in this book. They do have three small, like the smaller three dot checklists in the green. The dots are a little bit bigger on the orange ones. So I'm thinking... Doing a three there, and we'll do a three here. It's stuck to my finger. I still don't have my glasses. I need to get my glasses. Okay. Yeah, I like how that looks. Now, I could do a three and a three here in green. Let's see what that looks like. The only thing is, am I actually going to use all of these little checklists? Or <laughs> are they gonna end up being just little decorative pieces on here? Because. I am a sideways liner up person. I turn everything sideways, if you haven't noticed, which doesn't make for the best videos. But, oh my gosh. Now this has nothing to do with me not having my glasses. This has to do with me being completely and totally uncoordinated. Okay. Oh, that just looks so perfect. I have to leave it like that. Okay. So then I think I like how it's kind of all orange in here and we're kind of doing green up here. Uh, monochromatic. <laughs> so I am thinking of doing two more boxes. So I had gone to Pickleball at a different place. Was that, that was a Friday, a, 
couple weeks ago. And I'm not sure if I am going to go keep going. Yeah, I like that. And then what we will do is put, we'll just do, we'll do the same thing here with the orange. Okay, so I, did I go over into that? Yes, I went like this kind of thing. Oh, I think that checklist is a little crooked. Okay, just like that. Yeah, I like that. So, I am thinking I want to bring in some of these circles. And I do want to bring in those two little quotes. Oh, the only thing is I want to kind of keep it monochromatic. So I'm going to need to find something green-like. Let's put this one in here. Messy bun and getting stuff done. That's, um, it may be a little crooked. Can't tell. Don't have my glasses. And then we'll bring this one up here. So many teas, so little time. And then I have the circles. Okay, so let's take this circle and bring it in here. You got this. And then get it, girl. We'll just... Yeah, we're kind of overloading this a little here, but that's okay. I, the fact that it's monochromatic, it it flows nicely. If it was, uh, let's say, a bunch of colors, so like orange, green, blue, yellow, then it, it would look a lot more full. And this way, monochromatic keeps it looking less messy or full or overloaded or... Whatever. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm gonna bring that orange square in here. I'm just gonna keep going with the same size square. And I'm gonna put it underneath here. I realize I don't have a square on Tuesday yet. A square, a box, you guys know what I mean. Okay, so we'll do it like that. So I'll have to bring in a box right here. And that will be for Tuesday. Now I do have these two black ones. And I'm thinking just to keep the circles going, let's bring that's a little crooked. Loving, and we'll put the sipping one here because it's beside the tea. And then maybe I can find some little green green hearts. We'll, I'll have to go look. And I could, you know what I could do here is put these two hearts in as bullet points. I don't think I have this gorgeous olive green, one of my favorite colors. Not minty green, olive green. Okay, so this part here is definitely done. The only thing I may do is bring in some rose gold hearts just to bring more rose gold down here. We'll see. Okay, so up here, let's, let's put in, I like this way. Let's put this big rose gold heart in. I think I only have one of those. 
So we'll do that. Okay, I need, oh, holy smokes, I forgot. I still have all these stickers left that I wanted to use. Oopsie. Hmm. I could put this one in here. Let's try that. I am planning on putting like these bigger ones in here. I think I can put this one in here. Yeah. As I don't do a whole lot on Saturdays and Sundays. Like there's not usually a whole lot of plans and I don't work out or play games on Saturdays and Sundays. So that is fine there. I'm now thinking though that this would look really good right here. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so that's finished off there. I really need to get the tea bag in here. Really, really, really want the tea bag. So let me see what we have here. The teacup is a must. And then we have these. You know, this one here, I I think I can put this one in with the other set of stickers because the other set of stickers have some blue. This is, ooh, oh, okay, I like that right there. <laughs> I already like, no, I like that one right there. Uh, maybe both of those, maybe I don't use those. I could put, oh, but I don't want to, I don't really want to cover up the paper because the paper in itself is decor. So... Maybe I just hold on to this and figure out what I'm doing there. Okay, so there are green hearts. On here, I thought they wouldn't match, but when I put them down here, they're not too bad. They're actually quite close. So let's put our two hearts in on here. I actually need to raise that one up a little bit. Come on, wait. I feel a little bit, um, I think I put that on way crooked. I feel a little bit, what's the word? Like, I've said this before, shaky, but not shaky, shaky, uncoordinated, but I am totally uncoordinated. I just feel like I can't, I feel like when I'm going to do things, I can't slow my hand down enough. And no, I don't have any issues. I am just not, I'm a clumsy person and I'm not smooth and coordinated. <laughs> so, okay, now that I have two of them there, I do see the difference in the color, but I'm gonna leave them. Just because I have the two hearts here, the two hearts here. And it is green, so it will be monochromatic. Okay, so I went through my Daydreamer accessory book like three more times <laughs> and pulled out a few more uh, stickers, which I think will work. We'll see. I'm thinking this one uh, might work right in here. Yes, I'm going to go with that. Okay, so this little circle here, the one, two, three, I'm going to do it again here. So this sticker was a little bit lower. I just moved it up into the corner because of these green T's. So I'm going to put the green, the green tea cup, come on, here. And then I found another of the large hearts which I will put here and then this one this little part here doesn't have a quote so I found this relax and 
it will fit right here. I was thinking we've got this here. So I'm, <laughs> I realize I just put that in there, but maybe I could put the little planner in here like that and a green teacup. Oop, a very crooked green teacup. Like that. I think that's really cute. Uh, let's cut this sticker. Don't cut it over your book, your planner book. Did that not even cut? Oh, it did. Okay, so maybe we'll put like that heart in there and then we'll add this heart in here. So there is one by itself or two together. Oh, no, there's two here by themselves. Is that by itself or is that attached to that sticker? It's attached to that sticker. Okay, well, let's cut it out. And now that I'm doing this, I realize I could have just cut that one. <laughs> That's okay. That one and this one. I kind of wish, hmm, is it too busy? What do you guys think? I'm kind of wondering if I should take these hearts off. Let's take a few of these hearts off and let's just see if we like it better. Like I don't have to have something in every single little square, do I? <laughs> every white spot does not need a sticker. I do like these two because it brings the rose gold foil in. There's not a lot of rose gold foil in here or here though. So maybe just one little foil one. Just to bring in a little bit more of the rose gold. Yeah, I think I like it better without all the hearts. In the comments, tell me what you think. Did you like it better with all the hearts? Or do you like it better without the hearts? Here, I definitely, if I'm putting a box in, the box has got to be orange. Okay, so because I don't have any more orange ones in this side, I'm gonna go with a long one. I mean, I probably could find another orange box that matches that color, but I'm not going through all my books right now to find another orange one. I'm just gonna put this one in here, like so. And then I have this one left. And now that I'm looking at this and this, I'm not liking it as much. So let's see if we can get the sticker off. This should come off because I've already taken it off once, right? Yeah, I like that better. So does this... Uh, you know what? I th think what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to find some little letters and I'm going to write in, or put some little letters. I hate my handwriting and I'm going to put tea time underneath there and I'm just going to put this one down here like so. That I don't mind together as much. Okay, finding some small letters. Finding small enough letters to fit in here did not work. So I found these. These have been in my stash forever. 
And what I'm going to do is just put in the word T. And I think I'm gonna go with the bigger letters. And because there are there's small letters on the back. I thought I was gonna use the small ones, but we'll use the big ones. And we'll just fit it in like that. So what I'm going to do is put in some lines in this long box here. I'm just trying to line it up. I do have my glasses on now. And I'm just using a regular old black pen. And then I'm gonna line this up and do some more. That didn't turn out so bad. <laughs> okay, so I pulled out my mishmash book and it's got like headers and stuff in it. And I put the remember down because I was trying to see if it would actually fit. I'm not sure if I really like it. I have organize and I have to do. And I think I am going to put to do in here. These are very big uh, stickers, letters. Let's put the organize in here. I'm gonna put notes in here. And yeah, oh, too high. I am going sideways again. This is kind of a weirdly written Yeah, we'll do that. Organize looks crooked also. Okay, so I don't really have any black down here and there is a me time sticker. Saturdays and Sundays, I don't really do anything. Like the odd time we have somewhere to go. So I'm just gonna put the me time sticker in there and I'm gonna concentrate on doing two things just for myself on the weekend. So I'm looking here and I feel like there's not enough green here. So I want to try something. Hopefully I can get this sticker off. It's been on here for a little while, so I'm not sure if it's even going to come off. No, so that's not going to come off. Okay, so we're not even going to do that then. And I really like how this looks here with the planner, with the girl. So I'm going to put the planner with the girl up here. I think I can actually fit the circle in here. It's going to go obviously above, but I like that better with that the same look here with the girl and bringing the green over. I could probably even slide this down a bit more here. And yeah, I'm gonna be bunching these stickers together, but that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna pull out my undo and see if I can get this sticker off. Okay, so <laughs> I've said this before. I've seen people take their undo and just pour it over top of the of the sticker. And that doesn't make any sense to me because the sticky stuff is underneath. So what I do is I get it started and then I get my wet I don't know, spatula thingy. And I just pull it off like this. With it. So, yeah. if I move this and this, it 
take the heart from there and put the heart in here. <laughs> I know, I'm being crazy. This has to go this way, though. Okay, I'm stopping. I just, yeah, I can't anymore. What if I put one of these green hearts in here? I just finished saying I can't anymore. So you need to stop, Lisa. Okay, I am done and I'm not touching it anymore. I see a few things I could do, like bring the hearts in over here, right? Bring the hearts in over here. I'm not doing it, mostly because I need to go to pickleball now. <laughs> so let's take a close up look. It's so pretty and I really wanna get a good look of this paper. I don't know. I have a feeling the camera is not going to make this paper really stand out the way it does in person. All right, so if you're new here, you can see that I use uh, scrap of paper. I do a lot of other things too, you know, like doing scenes and using inking and I've even used paint and stuff like that. So check out my other videos. I'm sure you'll find something in there that you like because they are all a lot different. And please subscribe. I'd appreciate that so, so much. So tell me in the comments what you think. Please hit the like button and share with your friends, your family, your Facebook groups. Everybody and anybody would be fantastic <laughs> really would like to hit my 1000 subscribers so then i could buy some products so have a absolutely wonderful day we will be playing together again soon bye bye